20 questions or 20 minutes, whichever comes first, as long as it's you. This is You Go First. I'm your host, Blair Payton. We have 20 questions in a vase. My guests will draw the first question and we'll go back and forth covering as much ground in 20 minutes. The timer begins after the first question is read. My guest today is a comedian. I'm sure he's been on Pornhub a couple of times, whether watching it or maybe being a star on it. Who knows? We're going to find out so much about my guest today, Stephen Davis. Stephen... Be funny right now. Oh, my God. I would, but I'm here. So, uh, <laughs> no, thank you so much You're for welcome. having me on. This is a great show. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for saying I'm that. I'm very I thrilled. I totally agree. Do you agree. like your coffee? I do. Thank you for bringing me coffee. You're so, you know, here's my thing. Okay, so when I'm in someone else's space mm -hmm. or someone else's home or in this kind of situation, I right. always bring a little gift. Thank you. Yeah. Actually, you brought two gifts. I did. You brought the coffee, and you also brought um, a cocktail. I did, yeah. Cleverly hidden yeah. in a water bottle. Absolutely. I had to sneak it in here. Okay, so what is it before I drink it? Okay. It smells delicious. Mm. It smells like lemonade. It's it, mm, it's fresh lemon juice, so it's a lemon drop martini oh, that I shit. made, because I also bartend. Wow. Yeah. So, is there any truth to the to the Pornhub thing? I was just guessing. Um, I don't know if it. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, so you don't. Yeah, I mean, the only porn I, that I've ever done, you know, back when back when I was younger, were on Polaroids. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Oh, oh. we're talking about the drink now. Sorry, oh. I I took a sip while he was telling that story. Oh, you so saw the Polaroid? I have not. I think it's been going around. Um, is it on a Tumblr? Well, of course, Tumblr blocks porn. I know. They Don't get it. me started on that ish. Tumblr doesn't exist anymore. Actually, this <laughs> is a great introduction, by the way. But we're going to go into it because the Tumblr account I had was strictly for porn. Okay. So, Absolutely. Yeah. But like some of the stuff is still there. Oh. I think they're oh. hurting because of it. And I think they're, they're absolutely hurting. That is not like. The sex industry is even larger, and it's always going to be growing. I feel like this is really strong, the drink you made. Yeah? Yeah, because I feel it burning down my throat. Is you know, that normal? The thing is, the thing about this is um, it's a drink that you sip, like a martini. Okay. Yeah, so it's Well, good. I even jug martinis. That's why I do a lot of stupid stuff. I'll mm. drink it, I think I can handle it, and then the next minute later... <laughs> and you're, you're, you're in Jersey. I... <laughs> yeah, I yeah. know, I know. I've I mean, that's there. how I got started on Pornhub. Um, now I don't know if you're being serious anymore, and... You don't trust me. I don't trust you. The trust is you. gone. Well, comedians, from what I've gathered from watching television, and uh, seeing Netflix and stuff, I feel like sometimes they're liars. Do you think there's truth to that, or? Um, I th I really think, um, and this is why I think comedians are so important. I mean, I haven't done stand up in a in a while. I took some time off. When my grandmother passed away. That's another story. But I think comedians are so important really to like remind <laughs> people to remind people not to take shit so seriously. Okay. You know, there are real problems in this world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's why. That's why I kind of go on that line of dry humor. Got it. So people question. So how long have you done comedy? It's been about six years. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's awesome. When when did you decide, like, yeah, I want to go up and tell jokes and hopefully they land? Um, that was that was when I wasn't getting any auditions. And okay. I knew I had shit to offer. Okay. And so I just started writing. And um, and then I just started going up. I actually took a class. It was a Jessica Curson. Jessica Curson. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know her, I don't. look her up. She's incredible. The name sounds so, familiar. Yeah. So um, she uh, was doing these classes, mm -hmm. and uh, or the class was advertised with her, uh, her name there. So I did it, and I didn't get my time with her because mm -hmm. she something was going on and it was a different teacher but I actually took a stand-up comedy class which all that was was you write your set and you okay. and they respond to it oh well that's great though yeah and you edit it and stuff mm -hmm. like that that's how I got started in it really. so when what was your first gig like like the first time you went up there, that my, was a... my first time. It was very supportive. It was, was it an open it was mic at situation? The stand. It was at the Stand Comedy Club. Uh, that they've that. closed. They've moved. But um, uh, the Stand. It was in a room full of all supportive people. So mm -hmm. it. So I kind of thrived off of that, and it just that's made great. it more fun. Walking into a room that's quiet. Yeah. Is a little. It's like it's. 
a whole other thing. So, but it was supportive. I dabbled in stand-up comedy. Comedian I think your drink's kicking in. It it's is great. really strong, isn't it? I did. I did do uh, this guy I know who's a comedian. He was like, "You should." You come. did him? No. Oh, I think he wanted to have sex with me, which is oh. always flattering. But I was just like, I'm... and he was a stand-up. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I mean, that didn't have anything to do with it. I just, there was nothing. You know, why are we talking about this? <laughs> um, no, so I went with him to, he was going to an open mic night. Yeah. He was like, you should give it a try. So I went. And the thing that was kind of funny to me, it was like, no one paid attention to me. Like, because everyone in there was comedians and they were getting ready to do their, their 15 minutes or however long. Oh. So no one was listening to me. And I was like, guys, come on. This is hilarious. I, it was how rough. Can, how can people not listen to you, though? You're hysterical. <sighs> I don't know. I even, I was yelling at them. Good. I know. I was should. like, look at me. Yeah. Because, yeah. It was I mean, rough. I don't really have many other stand-up comedian friends. Yeah. It's hard to be friends with some other stand-ups. I mean, I get that. Because do you have any, like... Well, I mean, it's a, this is why I can't do it too often, because it's a fine line for me. I'll, like, things will get negative very yeah. easily, because, you know, uh, jokes, any joke, any set that I've done comes mm -hmm. from either a death, a breakup, or something like that. My actual life has to be in pain, mm -hmm. and then I go on. It's just too much. I okay, do it. that's an interesting question. And then we'll get into this yeah. stupid gimmick. Okay, when you, okay, have you ever gone through a period in your life where you're just like, everything seems to be going great and you're happy, but then you start to think, oh my God, if I'm not miserable, I'm not gonna have any m material. <clears throat> that's right, that's why um, I kind of took that and listened to it, and I started changing the way I do things. So you tried to make your life miserable? Um, no, I didn't. I'm uh, so uncomfortable in, in life when I'm miserable. And okay. it's like I'm do putting that on myself. Okay. You know, so to, to lift the weight off my shoulders of mm -hmm. that negative kind of miserable you know, personal life, mm -hmm. I had to figure it out. I had to figure out what is my craft what is it? Right. And what what is sustainable? Mm -hmm. The stand up thing isn't sustainable to me. So okay. so I started writing scripts. Oh nice. And doing um and filming those, like writing and putting and that way I can support my actor friends too. Which by the way, you have a web series. Promote that. It's it's coming up. It's coming up. So I um a really good friend of mine, um, Nastasha Strang. We like to call her Nassy. Nassy. It's it's a name we're workshop. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna stick. But yeah, so her and I have done you know our own content for a long time, but now we've we're, we're actually you know putting um, a series together, which is always uh, fun. it's called uh, What's Wrong, mm -hmm. um, and it's a roommate situation, and it's about communication. It's a I mean it's a situational comedy. Yeah. So one person's very logical, the other person me is emotional, mm -hmm. and there's something thing that they're trying to communicate and it's not happening. So that's I kind of that. what we do. Yeah, it's I mean it's a lot of Cuz I saw one. It was was it it was the gum one. Yeah, she, so that, she sent me one to like preview, mm, and I thought it was great. Yeah, so that's still, I think, in the works in an editing situation. The other one, the recent one that we filmed, is going to be our first one. Okay. Uh, when it's released, that was that's still in a, the uh, editing uh, process. That's um, right now. But I'm very who's actually editing? I'm very proud. I think she's hiring someone to edit. Oh, <laughs> guys, I I I know how to edit, and you don't have to pay. Why me. is she not letting you edit? I don't know. I. I think we're that frenemies. should be her gift. That should be her gift that she brings. Yeah, she didn't bring me one damn <laughs> for, gift when she yeah, came on this show. That should be the gift. I know. Well, wait a minute. That's 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 more my gift to her. Because no, because uh, then <laughs> you're in the credits. You're behind what oh, people are seeing, which it. is so important. Got it. Okay. You no, know, it's yeah. not just the people that they're acting. You yeah. know, it's everyone involved. Is very important. Mm. We're gonna have to have a stern conversation with Absolutely. her. Absolutely, I think you should be on set too. Uh, I think you should 100%. have your yeah. I think you should have your eye on how it's like the how you it's know filmed. What? I should even have like a co-starring cameo. I don't know. I'm just Absolutely. spitballing. Oh, I've already written. I've already started writing the next two episodes. Oh my goodness! So and it and it's not just two people. Okay. Yeah, and how that's many? why you've been in my mind. Okay. Because I think you'd be perfect. I think you'd be perfect. Oh my for God! It. What? Yeah. Stop it! Yeah, I think you'd be very so perfect for it. Drunk, I think this mm -hmm. is really strong, but it's delicious. It's, it's a nice sippy drink, right? 
I'm not sipping it. Okay, so let's get into the vase before my phone dies because I have shoddy equipment. That's what it's called. Va- it's called vase. Do you say vase or vase? I say I said vase the other day when I was on the phone with my mother, who's in Mississippi, mm-hmm. and mm. you say vase down there. So and I was, I was like, vase. She diso- does she? And she's like. What's vase? And Did I she like, disown you? Vase. Oh, vase. Oh, mm. I got it. I flip flop. I oh. like to say. I like to say vase. Oh, because it seems like I went to like a good school. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't. Oh well, I went to a fi- I went to community college. I Whatever. Didn't go okay. To school. So, do you have any questions about how the this will play out? It's okay. very simple, but a lot of people get confused. So. You just lift it, ask very the good. question. It's if it's good. directed to you, I wait for an answer. Yeah, right? we just go back and forth. And, you and have, the timer. And you have each question, you have 20 minutes to answer. I mean, you can. Is that what it is? I would love to just draw one question and see you answer it in 20 minutes. Just, okay. I mean, it's. Or, I mean, I'm see. sure. I'm sure the people at home watching this would like that. I I'm sure. Would, just I know. One I really, question I really for think. 20 minutes. That sounds amazing. You know, all it takes is a lemon drop martini, and then you're going. I right? mean, yeah, I can ramble. That's okay, right. so we're okay. going to use your phone because right. again, mine is in process. <laughs> by the way, go. you can watch the video version of You Go First by going to You Go First Show. Dot com. We have all of our links there. You can listen on Apple, on the Google, on the Spotify, the Stitcher. We are everywhere. That's so you really have no cool. reason to ignore me or ghost me. That's so co- ghost. I'm sorry. I Has someone ghosted you? Oh my god, it's like my life. Okay, let me Okay. Your Here we go. Okay, so draw the first question. I will start the timer as soon as you read it. Okay. Here we go. He is digging in, opening Here the first question. Okay. Is it started? Oh. Well, you have to What read is the biggest realization you had about yourself? Timer begins oh now. That's to you, right? Well, you would answer it since you read it. But if oh. it helps, I can answer first if you need time. Oh, the biggest realization mm-hmm. actually came pretty recent. Um, going back to my grandmother, because she just recently passed away. She was one of those one of these ladies who didn't have a negative bone in her. So she was very supportive, also very funny. Mm-hmm. And she was able to multitask all of that. Oh, wow. So while she's being supportive, while she's taking care of the people around her, she's also being funny. That's awesome. And that's a real big thing that I uh, that I learned about myself um, is I have to protect that about me. Okay. Because I also have that. Okay. Um, it's very easy for me to soak in the energy around me. So would you consider – other people's crap. So you're like an empath. And put it on me. Kind of, yeah, kind of like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so when she passed away, because I was there, this is why it was such a big thing for me, because it really showed me mm-hmm. what I have and that I do need to protect it. And anyone, anyone who has, you know, who, um, and this goes for anyone, not just me, mm-hmm. but that's a big realization that I, um, what's that your, I just realized. What's your zodiac sign? So... I'm a Gemini Taurus cusp. I don't know what that means, but a friend of mine is a born in November. Oh, I don't know what that okay. is. Okay, well, because Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Yeah, is that yeah, a yeah. Scorpio? Yeah, because I was with a Scorpio for a brief period of time in my life, and by brief I mean three years. Wow, I bet that was volatile. I yeah, that's what they it say. Was cr- it was insane. Was it? Yeah. Well, because I'm so different. Well, they say that. Well, according to I mean, my I was friends, so different. With him, I mean, people are all different, I guess. Yeah, you kind of change. But there's some truth about it, I think. Well, because my friend who's a Scorpio, he he says if you're a Scorpio, you're an empath, and you absorb all that energy. Which, oh. I mean, I, I guess there's some truth to it. That's why I asked. Yeah. I don't know about Gemini, so don't ask me. I'm a Capricorn, and apparently we come across bitchy. I don't know. I should really read up on that before I bring it up in a conversation. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't see that in you at all. Thank you. I Well, some people, when they meet me at first, because I can be a little more reserved, which is shocking, uh, they think I can be um, kind of a dick. Yeah. Whatever. Well, let them think what they want. Yeah. That's not your deal, you know. So, my, anyway. my biggest realization that I've had about myself has actually been since I've moved to New York. Because... Um, you always, when you watch Sex in the City, you always, at least for me, I was like, I've always wanted to be like the Samantha. Cause she's, she's out there just, 
getting her vitamin D, just having a great time. And I always like wanted to be that or aspire to that, but the more I age, the more I realize I am not that person. I cannot hook up with someone because instantly after we have like the sex, um, I will find myself. I love that you said the sex. Go ahead. Well, it's official. (laughs) Um, Then like the next morning, I'm just like, how did I get so lucky? You know, and then I'll never sleep again. You know, so I can't. I'm I'm 100. I'm 100 percent Charlotte. Oh, I can see that. Thank you. I can I see. Well, I mean, there's always times where I'm thinking, I wish I was more this, I wish I was more that. But that ignores who you are. That that ignores your growth. Yeah. You know, you have a lot of talent. Thank and you. I, you know, and it has to be protected, I think. Yeah. Well, and that probably explains why all the hookups I've ever had have been terrible. Yeah. No. I, That's a whole separate podcast yeah, it's right there. Very, it's very interesting, every hookup I've been in, there's always a heartbreak at the end yeah. for, for me. Like, Yeah, it's just like, it's it's like, like we, had, we shared so many hours together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I had to stop doing that. Okay, <laughs> next question. Ooh, okay. <laughs> what did you Google last? <laughs> um, okay, so I get sucked into ads on Instagram. Oh. Yeah. Like, they're listening. They know that, like, oh, he he wants to have uh, a better physique. Or, oh, he's eating like shit. Let's target Wendy's at him. They're listening. (laughs) So there was this. They do. They listen. Well, there was this ad that came up for this. It was called a sweat vest. So basically, you you purchase it, and then you wear it when you work out, and it's supposed to intensify your workout. You sweat more. It's supposed to boost your metabolism. The only reason I got it, because when the guy took off his vest, he had like a six-pack. And I was like, well, that seems doable. So I bought it, and what I after I bought it, and I wore it a couple of times, and then people were telling me, you know, dehydration is like a big thing. you, you got to be careful with that. So I Googled the effects of wearing a sauna vest and dehydration is one of them and also kidney failure and stuff like that but i never had i have I don't, it's been three weeks and i'm fine so i mean that assumes that people don't sweat when they work out i but this like cranks it up like my pants were like soaked from waist to like upper dick so like that i area. just don't see you as needing that though you know i Thank you. I appreciate that. Of course, I have been wearing it, so I have trimmed up a little. Okay. Because I'm going to Jamaica. I mean, it gets rid of... When are you going to Jamaica? Well, in October. I don't think... Do they like the gays? Do they not? I don't think so. I guess you have to live there to experience it, though. I can be straight. I think they accept the tourist thing, but I okay. think as far as, like, if you were to ever move there, I don't think that well, would be a wise no. thing. I can be straight. See, watch. Yeah. So uh, Next. Okay. So... <laughs> Okay, all right. Why don't you answer the question? <laughs> what did you Google last? <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> okay. Last thing you Googled. It's over here. What was the biggest no, realization? No, hold on. What did you Google last? Okay. What because did apparently I, you need to read the question. What again. did I Google last? Let's take a look here. I finished my drink. <laughs> now I'm going to go back to the coffee you, so I can sober that's up. That's right. It's like an upper downer, but legally. Okay. I'm so surprised Pret has good coffee. By the way, Pret is a New York based uh, eatery. In case you didn't know that. Oh yeah, is it yeah, New yeah. York based? yeah. I took okay. my when my mother came to visit. I took her there. Um, I bet she was super excited too. Oh, okay. So the Little Mermaid on Broadway. Is I that go- coming to Broadway? It was already on Broadway. I must I'm have not been a big really Broadway person. <laughs> I must have been really stoned when I googled last time, which Are they was ma- last night. Are they making a live action Little Mermaid? Because I feel like I keep hearing that. Because I was obsessed with the Little Mermaid. I mean, they're doing all kinds of things. They, they did Rent. What do you think about that? <sighs> it's over and done with. I don't. It really felt like it was just put on. Are it... you talking about on Fox, right? Yeah. Well, I didn't watch it because I'm not a big musical person. I, like, I'll occasionally get sucked into musicals. But, yeah. like, that one I had no t- I mean, I just think they tried too hard to make the stage unique yeah. rather than actually filming it on stage. I think if they would have filmed it on stage like the original, like the, like really brought it back to the original, I think it would have been a little better. But I will say when they did Grease. And maybe recast it. Go ahead. Well, yeah. But I will say the Grease version that Fox did, I thought that was, like, really good. 
Oh, yeah. It was, like, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, that was really good. And then, what was it, Hairspray? Hairspray was fine. Although, the guy they cast as Link, I'm sorry. He was walking around with a dick in his butt. There is no way he was straight. <laughs> well, uh, all of them. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> there's... It's Everyone very involved. shocking. Everyone involved. All right, draw the next question. Okay, we're drawing the next one. All right. Okay. Uh, what seemingly innocent question makes you think it's a trap? Mm -hmm. That's a good one. That's mm -hmm. very interesting. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Oh, you want me to go first? <laughs> yep. Uh, whenever someone asks me, what are you doing? I always think it's a trap. Oh. Because they're going to be like, oh, so if you're free... Can you take care of some shit for me? Oh, mm -hmm. I see. I see. So whenever I get that question, I I like wait a second. And I'm like, am I busy? I have to like think who am I talking to, and then um, based upon that, I have a stock response. <gasps> I'm not gonna tell That's... you what it is because if people see this, then they'll know. Oh my god, tell me. I need to know. Well, I'll tell you after the show. I need to know. Whis so just be whispered prepared. in the mic. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not new. <laughs> All right, what question do you get? Oh that my you think god. Is a trap? That that like a trigger question for me. Is it like do you know Jesus as your personal Would psychic? be would be can we talk? Ooh, that's a good that's one. That's a good one. And every time someone says that, does your asshole like like drop a little bit? My every everything drops mm -hmm. and I'm and and I just want to run away. It's very physical for me. I just think why can't you tell me no? Mm -hmm. Why yeah. can't you t tell me what you're going to tell Oof. me now? When someone yeah. says that, I'm just like, oh, my God, what did I do? What did I, I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. Next question. If you were a clown-themed superhero, what powers would you have? A clown-themed <laughs> superhero. Well. I love that. Um, you know, I did go to clown. I used to do a clown thing. I went to clown school. That is so sad. I was Thank very, you for admitting that. Yeah, I was very, very young. How old young? And I was riding units. Oh, like I was nine, oh, riding okay. unicycles and juggling fire I did mime. and all that. You I did, did mime? I did mime. I in was my never church. all that great at mime. Okay. Okay. <laughs> did you aspire to be great at okay. mime? Okay. No, mine was religious mime. We did it at my church. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that brings me back. They used to have the the Baptist mimes. Well, at my church down south. I was the only like my church youth <laughs> in the mime team. The rest were like adults, and we did like an Easter production where I got nailed to the cross as Jesus. But I was like so embarrassed because my sister and her friends were in the audience, and they were like making fun of me the entire time. I was nine too. Oh Stuck with me, god. Heidi. Yeah, Heidi. <gasps> Heidi. You're why I'm this way. <laughs> um, so, okay. So, clown theme uh, superhero. My superpower would be, honestly, I would just show up to a situation and people would shit them themselves because clowns are pretty scary. Have you seen it? Yeah, take back the power. Yeah. You know, take back the power in a group of people. Yeah, so I just show you know, up. You show up. And take people a shit, Take stop. a shit. Take a shit. Take a shit. Thank you. Yeah, I and make them shit. Can, absolutely. What make about you? Make them vulnerable. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. So, Absolutely. You already drank your thing. I said. Uh, <laughs> so what would your clown I super man thing? Um, so my superpower would probably be. Um, uh, it's a hard question. I mean, honestly, since I really hate to travel. Okay. <laughs> teleportation. I to love... bypass all the travel. I would love to be able to teleport. Say. Yeah, I can't travel without some sort of alcohol mm -hmm. or a pill or really? or something. Even in like or a... high caffeine. Like I have to be. I can't just normally be traveling. So, are you talking like in a flight or in a car? <clears throat> in a flight, car is fine because okay. I'm like feel like I'm moving. Okay. Do you are you the type of person who has to drive and be in like control, or do you like to make my sleep in the back seat? And I'm like, you fuckers, drive me. Um, I'm a I, good friend. I definitely, I definitely would be sitting in the passenger seat. I love sleeping. But I also like going back and forth because okay. that'll wake me up, you know? Okay. Yeah. Draw the next question. Okay. Okay, so far. Yeah, so we have we seven have s minutes. Seven and a half minutes. Perfect. We're crushing it. What's the old oldest thing you own? Ooh. Do you want me to answer? What, do you collect like antiques or something? Or? No, I never throw my clothes out. 
truth. Your underwear? Well, well. Me. Yeah, no, I do. When they get holy. Um, no, I have <laughs> I have a sweatshirt that my sister got me in high school. It's from The Gap. Oh. Uh, so she bought it. So I don't know how old I was because I can't do math right now because I had one, the drink you made. Um, but <laughs> but you, if you look at the tags, I learned this from a friend of mine. If you look at the tags, it'll show you when it was made. And it was October 1998. Still in my closet. Wow. The oldest thing I have is my first acting award. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to share this. Oh my God, I've you're an award winner? This. I am an award winner at this little theater that was in this small town I grew up in. Okay. And it is a pine cone glued to a block of wood. Love it. And it's gold, it's spray painted gold. I like it. And um, it, it reads says, money. It says, I think, like, best actor. Um, I played a mouse. Who were you up against? I was I was up against twenty other mice. Oh wow! But to be the best mice, everyone of we got creative uh, creative uh, uh, freedom to do what we wanted with the costume. Good. So as a mouse in Pied Piper. Okay. Um, was that the name of the play? Yeah. Okay. I. Um, I actually was Mickey Mouse, so oh, I had the pants, classic. The, the, you know, the red pants and everything. I think that's why I got my 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 reward. Oh my god! Congratulations! Reward award. What was your speech? Do you remember? I think it was like A B C D E F G. Oh my god! H I. Okay. Yeah. I'm digging. For it the was next a really question. great speech. It sounds like you know it. they didn't turn on the music. Uh, what fear would you like to overcome? Do you want to answer first? Oh my God, I would like to overcome fear. Love it. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or like anxiety. <laughs> but... Oh my God. Anxiety, yeah. If I could stop taking pills for depression or anxiety, that would be great. But off the top of my head, the first fear I would like to uh, overcome is being able to like not be afraid of water so I can swim. Oh, you're afraid of water? I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of it. Like I'll get in water, but like, like I won't go in the deep end. And like the thought of like learning how to swim just kind of like yeah. freaks me out a little bit oh. because I almost drowned once. So <gasps> no, you didn't really. I, yeah. Oh my well, god. Well, I didn't drown because I'm here. I um. I Although. Had... Yeah. When I almost drowned and then I survived, I swear to God, I thought. I was like, what if I did die and I'm living an alternate universe? And why does it still suck? Oh my God! Yeah. Do you smoke pot? I don't. Oh, that. I've pot. had a gummy. You've had a gummy. Those are strong. They are. I made They're so many strong. eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my God. Okay, so you just want to overcome fear? Um, I like to overcome fear. You know, I have my swimming merit badge because I did Boy Scouts when You're I was growing up. You're such a up. winner. So I have my swimming merit badge. So Got if it. you ever need to jump into water, I can be there and I can show you how to turn your pants into a floating device if in case you feel like you're about to drown. Okay. Wow. So. Thank you. You're welcome. I need to know that. Yeah, well, thank my dad. He's the one that said go. I'm, I okay. wasn't like, oh, I wanna go to Boy Scouts. Okay. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I would I would probably overcome fear. Okay. Yeah, which I'm working on. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, draw the next question. Oh, right. We're doing great. Let's check the time. We're well, doing amazing. We have three and a half minutes. <clears throat> okay, what's one guilty pleasure you enjoy too much to give up. Ugh, mine's food based. I know that. You like food, you love <sighs> food. What's your favorite food? Well, that's that's a hard question because I, well, you I mean, you grew up in the South. Did you grow up in a town where it was mostly like <laughs> chains? Chain restaurants? Absolutely. Okay, great. So you get where I'm coming from. Yeah, pizza Wendy's, Hut. oh, well, I'm not a big pizza. I like Papa John's. Yeah, we didn't or have that. Oh, Domino's? <laughs> We didn't have Domino's. Oh my God. We had um, Pizza Hut and then there was a Little Caesars. Little Caesars was great, but yeah. it didn't last very long mm. there in that small town. Well, I would say my guilty pleasure is because every time I eat it, people say, you could die from that. But I'm like, I can't, if I die happy, then that's fine. Uh, cookie dough. I love oh, just straight if up. If my mom sees this, my mom's probably gonna see this. Um, she, I don't need to respond to that. Because right? my mom's gonna see this, yeah, and cookie she dough? she understands the cookie dough thing. Do you know what I love? If if I'm trying to like watch my food intake, um, I will get 
Okay, it's the cookie dough that comes in like a sheet and it's like sh sectioned off like Absolutely. Yeah, so you feel like there's a little bit of portion control when you bite <laughs> off a square, so you feel like I'm ha I had That's three. right. I'm fine. That's right. Yeah. But I love cookie dough. Oh my god. I did there's try the Trader Joe's version which has no eggs in it. It's but awful. I'm, no, it's no, fine. no, no. You just need to go go bigger go home. Immaculate cookie dough is really good too. That company Immaculate. Um they have all different that. kinds of I things. just go the to cookie dough is really good. The, the chocolate one's really good. Yeah. I love the Toll House. Yeah. <sighs> it's so good. Oh my God. That's a guilty pleasure for me it's too. So but good. I can't eat that because I can't have sweets. Why? I can do them every now and then. They mess with my like face. And then I like when How I first saw myself on screen, like on a, you know, a, a big, like an indie Wait, thing. Wait, like they just make, I, make you fatter? No, or? they give me like cystic acne and and oh, all this stuff so that and I a lot die. of gluten too it's young oh do you have a gluten allergy i mean it's something that i i love it i love gluten oh, so it's doesn't? something i have to limit my sister has a gluten allergy and she, ugh, all the food she eats is terrible. everyone has allergies now okay if you could listen to only one cd ever again what would it be and why oh. okay so currently this is hard for me because i have a lot of music uh people i like uh, but currently, I just discovered uh, Lizzo's new album because Spotify recommended it to me. And I have been listening. Her new album is so good. It's called Because I Love You, Lizzo. Guys, download it. Oh. It's amazing. It's so good. Like, every track. And it's, like, very body positive. Oh. Yeah. No, and it, I love that. Yeah. It's body so positive as in... As in as in what? Because oh. there's this there's this trend going on right now where body positive is, I don't care about anything, and I'm gonna show off everything. But then they're eating like really th like things that well, it's make not them that. Bad. It's more or less just it's like bad. love yourself, don't be hard on yourself. I really love what's happening. Yeah, there's this kind of counter to a lot of stuff in society. And, and Lizzo I, I really is so like, great. I really think that you have to go to body positive mm -hmm. to introduce. Yeah. Loving yourself, or, you know, whatever that journey that people go on. Oh, oh shit! Oh my god! Wow. I didn't answer the question. What's the, what was that question? I don't remember. Your drink was so. It wasn't strong. this, right? Your CD. You can answer. The oh CD my question. CD. Yeah. Oh, so I I heard CD. CD and I th because thought about, we're elderly. I thought about the '90s and I thought about the very first Spice Girl CD. And what that gave me as a, as a person in the deep south in a very small town. The only song I can think it was wannabe was to become one. Wannabe on to oh, become one. Say good. you'll be there. All of them naked. If you can't dance, whole so bunch good. of shit. Yeah, it's right? classic. Yeah. Classic shit. Yeah. All right. Well, you just went first. How does it feel? It feels. Do you want to go so through the good? Let's see how many questions. All right. Oh. All right, let's see how many questions you got through. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. <clears throat> we did eight. We did eight. Out of how many questions were there? Uh, tw well, 20 questions or 20 oh, minutes. We Thank you for to listening do... to the opening. Oh. Um, so yeah, you did very well. It's on par. It is on par. You know, there's some people who got yeah, through but, more, you know, but some, whatever. Some questions need a lot of answer. I know, well, and that's, that's the hurdle. That's why you said or. 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. So, I love okay. It. So now it's your platform. What would you like to promote? Anything about yourself? Social media? I would like, okay. So I need more friends on Instagram, to be honest. Okay. So, um, how many friends do you have? I have like 600. Oh, I'm so sorry. 600 and something, but I don't pay for them. Okay. Okay. Good for you. I don't pay for them and everything like that. Um, so my Instagram is at the Stephen K. Davis. What's your middle name? Let me guess. Okay. Carrot. Carrot with a K? Okay. Okay. No, but that okay. would be really, I would really like if it was Carrot. You can do it. Hollywood allows you to change your name. I would say Stephen, Stephen Carrot Davis. I love it. Stephen Carrot. Can you hyphenate it? Yeah. Probably Stephen Carrot should be hyphenated. Stephen Carrot. Like I mean, Tiffany I Amber? See, I can see that, um, yeah, I can see that on a billboard. I Stephen love it. Stephen Carrot. Starring. Yeah. Co-starring. I like a co-starring role, to be honest. I mean, I'm I'm more like the friend. I love it. I you're, like that. You're like the Rhoda to yeah. the Mary. Love yeah, it. like Who I love that. I'm sorry, but Rhoda was amazing. And if you don't know what we're talking about, then I'm sorry for you. Yeah. Because Rhoda had the funny lines, and like she was the one you tuned in to Those watch. Those are the best. Yeah. The best. Yeah. And so much fun. Mary was pretty, and that was about it. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. 
Okay. So yeah. So I just that's really all <laughs> that I care about right now. Um, other than um, we do have a series coming out called the What's Wrong series. So keep a lookout on that. Is that going to be it's, on yours? It's also going to be. It's going to be on. Um, I, Nastasha's going to put it on hers. Nastasha's creating a YouTube TV. Okay. Um, so all of that that we create is going to be on her thing. Do you have I'm a website? I'm also going to have it on mine. No. I don't, yeah, I don't need to do that. Wow. I, don't right. do, I know. I guess you're not trying hard enough. No. That's I cool. also I also am a leader. Oh, well, and not a follower. I guess you told me. <laughs> I guess you I told me. <laughs> so give your uh, Instagram handle one more time. My Instagram handle handle is at, oh, this is, yeah, it's fe I'm feeling right? it. Right? Yeah, it's good. It's good. I've had coffee and a lemon Cup drop. Up and down, it's really good. Ding dong. <laughs> um, at the Stephen K. Davis. It's very pretentious. It's at the Stephen K. Davis, which is so funny to me because it's so not me. <laughs> so anyway. All right, well, Stephen Carrot Davis, thank you so much for <laughs> this coming. This was so Earth. much fun. Yay! <laughs> How I clap. Is that I, how you clap? Nicole Kidman. So Nicole Kidman. Oh, well, she had the weird oh, fingers. Oh, or so Nancy Pelosi. Oh, yeah. 